Hi everyone and welcome to this presentation on how to present your uh, collection as a trade sketch. What we're going to do is open up Adobe Illustrator and I'll show you how to put together a trade drawing. So first of all, um, there's a template that you'll be able to download. It's called Trade Drawing Template. And you can open this straight into Illustrator. So welcome to Illustrator. I'll give you a little bit of a tour of what to do. So um, right here, as this is like the construction specification or trade drawing sheet. So you've got the name of your style. You can call this whatever style you want. Um, you've got the style number. You will put your fabric in there. Uh, you'll put what season your collection is for and what delivery date. Um, it's also a great idea to put um, a front and back sketch and after we've drawn this we'll then put arrows to all the different trims. So first of all, just so you know how to edit this file, um, this toolbar here is all the different tools um, you can use. So the ones that you really need to know is the pointer tool. This is to select things. So see how it's blue now? That means we're selecting that box. Uh, you can also select the text. Now if you want to actually write something, so for example if you wanted to change this lady's dress to your uh, name of your style, you select it with the black arrow and then you go to the T. This is the type tool or text tool. So the moment we press T, see this little icon comes up? That means um, if we click here, it means we can now type. So there's the typing. So we could call it ladies, can make up a new name, put uh, Chloe dress. Then when you finish typing, you want to go back to the pointer tool and that finishes it. Uh, same with the style number. You first select it with your black arrow, so it's selected. Then you go down to the T tool and then click on the blue line and then you can modify the style number from there. Same thing, you go back to the black pointer. Fabrication. So we've got a silk polyester here. You can put whatever fabric you want. So you select it first, then you go to the T tool and uh, you can type in from there. So we'll just leave it silk polyester for the time being. Now, um, so this is pretty much everything else you need to know. Um, the pen tool, this is a little calligraphy pen. Um, so this pen tool here, you can draw things. Um, then you can also change the color of the object. Uh, see how this little square down here in the left hand corner, there's black, which is the fill color. And then this is the stroke color. So it's got no stroke. So if we select that stroke color, and then over here on the right hand side, go to the color guide, swatches. Um, we can select what color we want the outline. So I've just made it pink. So if we go back to the black arrow and then we zoom in, you can now see the outline is pink. Now when you're doing a trade drawing, quite often you're just doing it in a black um, outline with no fill. So what we want to do is select um, down the left hand corner this fill button and we'll go to the color palette. And what we want to do is select nil, no fill. And then we go to the outline color and we'll convert it to black. So there you go. That's um, how you can draw. So let's just do a little quick drawing. Um, if you hold down the button, you can then, um, these are called nodes, it's letting me draw a curved line. So we can go like that, then down. I'm drawing a basic t-shirt at the moment. And then you see on the screen how 
it's going to a little zero when I click on that node. That means it's finishing off and closing the object. So there's the basic outline of a t-shirt. We can delete this over here. Now you can modify this. See how it's a little bit wonky, the um, neckline? So if you click on this, um, if you go to the white arrow, the white arrow is so you can pre-select the little different um, blue dots and the blue dots are called nodes. So if I select that, um, so you want to select it first, then go back to your black arrow there and see how it's letting me actually move just this point here. So you could make it um, a little bit of a deeper neckline if you wanted to. Um, what else? If we go here, just make it all in line. We might make it a little bit more of a waistline. Maybe you want to do a scoop tem. You can make um, it a different scoop. So there you go, that's a little bit better now. And if you zoom back out, you can see, yeah, it's looking quite good. So then what you also want to do is draw in stitch lines here. So if this was, for example, a singlet, um, you want to use the pen tool again. And what we're going to do is draw maybe the hem. This is where they're going to stitch the hem. So you'll start on the edge. Then we'll go down to the middle. We'll hold down the clicker tool and just curve that line and then go back up. Now we're not going to finish off and close the shape because it's just a line that we're drawing. We're not drawing a closed shape. So go back to your selection black arrow tool. Now I'll teach you a really cool trick now to make this look like a stitch line. So if you go to, let's see if we can find it here. Okay, sorry, down here on the right hand side. So we've got stroke. At the moment it says the stroke is the line that we just drew. So the weight at the moment is one point. What we might like to do is make it a little bit lighter. So we could go to maybe three quarters of a stroke. See how that just made that line a little bit thinner, a little bit nicer. Then what we can do is down here in the checkbox, there's a dashed line. So we click the dashed line. See the 12 point dash line. It's made it a really uh, long stitch line. So what we might want to do is a really close together one. So let's try six. Maybe we'll try one. Just to test, test and measure things. So one is looking quite good, though I still think that that line is a little bit too thick. So what I would do, just go back to maybe a quarter. There we go. So if we zoom back out, see we've now just created a little hemline for where um, you want the manufacturers to stitch the hem. Now in t-shirting we would actually do a double what we call a twin needle hem. So uh, this is actually two lines of hem. So what we want to do is select this line and what we can do is we go to edit, copy. Then we go edit, paste. So we've just copied that hemline so we don't have to do it again. And what we're going to do is just place it above the other stitch line. So now we have a double row stitching.
Now, if you wanted to, you could actually modify this a little bit, like if it's not fitting into this shape, okay? So you go to the white pointer tool because you want to end edit the nodes. See how I'm just adjusting it so it's all even. And there we go, there's a twin needle stitch. So what we would do in the sketch is um, a little arrow so we can use the line tool here see this just draws lines so we just delete that so zoom in now illustrators just remembered what stroke um, I've just done so we can go back no dash line and you can see what we might be able to do is then we go to the T tool the type tool and we go down here go twin needles stitch 1.5 centimeter hem so you can specify how wide you want the hem to be and it'll just depend on the um, design so that's quite standard one and a half centimeters is quite standard for a t-shirt so we've just told the manufacturer what kind of hem we want on our t-shirt um, if we wanted to put say ribbing um, around the neckline we do the same sort of thing get the pen tool hold down the button there we go now it's it's reverted back and wants to fill so if that happens to you, you go back to your little swatches down here and this brings up the color palette so at the moment you can see just here on the right hand side it's um, black so what we want to do is none then um, you just want to click this stroke so the stroke is on top so we've selected the stroke tool and we want the stroke to be black so now it's changed that to black um, so if we select on it again we want to go down to the stroke tool down here and we want it to be um, probably a little bit lighter 0.75 so um, this neckline here we want to show the um, stitch lines so we can go edit copy then edit paste so it's just copied our little line I'm going to place it above and we want to give it a dashed line one point and make it really thin stroke so 0.25 point and there you go that's a lot nicer but can you see how it's not lining up over here so if we select this then we go to the white pointer tool and click the node the little blue dot and now we can shift it so just shift it into there and the same on the other side so we click the little node there we go so now we have a little binding neckline so you would then draw a line and we don't want it a dash so we turn that off and we want to put a text next to it and then we describe what kind of neckline so this could be a 1.2 um, centimeter binding in self fabric if you wanted this to be ribbing you could write ribbing um, if you wanted to 
have a contrast color here you would also write contrast fabric um, I just put self fabric self fabric means um, the fabric that the rest of the garment is made in this is also called um, body fabric um, so that's pretty much how you keep on going um, I've kind of drawn this smack bang in the middle what you can do is with your black arrow um, I'm just drawing a little box and what we're going to do is you can go to object group now um, it has grouped all of these items together so I can just click anywhere in this box and it'll select all of them and then I can move it so I can move it over to the front that way I've got um, space on the back um, to write things so if you want to ungroup it later on you just go object ungroup and see now I can modify it again so you can move things around so what you would do is draw your front sketch then you draw the back sketch here and that would be your construction sheet so that's the end of the tutorial